She's unconscious. Please hurry up. That's right. Two miles past the rest stop. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Get me out. Get me out. Okay. Get me out. The door is jammed. Undo your seatbelt and open the window, okay? I can't. Okay, it's stuck. Just relax, it's... okay? The police and paramedics are on their way. They're gonna get you out. You're gonna be. You're gonna be fine. Okay. The, hey, it's okay. You know what happened? I don't. I don't. I. I, I don't know. Was Was there another car involved? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Something in the road? I was driving. I was driving. Okay. 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 You, okay. Your head's bleeding. So just try, try to stay calm. Okay. Try to stay calm. Strange. I feel. I feel. Okay. Kate. Kate. Just relax. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna stay with you, I'm gonna talk to you until help arrives, okay? And they're gonna get you out. Everything's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Kate, 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 Kate! Yeah. Great timing. You got five seconds to convince me not to put a bullet in your brother's head. Okay, forget about my brother. This is about Kate. What about Kate? Is she alright? enough for your incredibly timely rescue. Glad that I was driving by. It gave me quite a scare, though. One minute we were talking, the next you were just out. Well, for a second, I think I actually saw my life flash before my eyes, and I thought, wow, what an interesting story you would make after I was dead. <laughs> Which I have no intention of being for quite some time. Yeah. Hey, how are you feeling? Well, I imagine I'm better off than my car. Do you remember anything at all? No. Well, the answer could be here in your test results. You have a very high blood alcohol level. Get Robin to hold off reporting your blood alcohol level to the police. But eventually someone's going to find out about it. Jax, I swear to you. I didn't touch a drop of alcohol tonight, which is weird because when I came to and I saw you, I actually... I actually felt inebriated. And I know you probably think it's the head wound or that I'm flat out lying to you, but no. all I had to drink tonight was iced tea. No, no, if that's what you say, I believe you. You, you have no reason to lie to me. So there must be another explanation. Oh my God, what? Are you okay? Yeah, thanks to Jax. He found me and he called all the right numbers and he got me here. I didn't even have my cell phone. Who knows how long I would have been in that ditch if he hadn't come along. Thanks, Jax. We got lucky. I don't think what happened to Kate tonight was an accident. The danger that you've been predicting is closer. So I think that we should work together, find out who and what we're really up against. Somebody drugged me in my own home. Is, that, is there no place sacred in this town? We have no proof, except Jerry's word. And he cannot be trusted. But he's probably right, Sonny. I intentionally didn't drink anything because I was dealing with a disaster at Couture. And yet, my test results say that I have enough alcohol in my system for a drunken sailor. Okay, listen to me. Jerry, Jerry said he saw some suspicious in your glass. The glass that he refilled. Well, why would Jerry do such a thing? I mean, who would do such a thing? Don't worry about it. I'll find out. paying more attention, but I was so consumed with salvaging next month's issue that what I do remember is that I set the glass down and then out of nowhere Jerry was there and he was refilling it. What do you think that he used? We're gonna figure that out. Don't worry about that. Can you give me at least one minute to be glad that you're alright? Starting to be very afraid. I swear to you. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. The last thing that Kate needs to deal with right now is your raging libido. What are you doing here, Kurt? Kate is in a lot of trouble. And I'm the only one who can get her out of it.